What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at a new portable Bluetooth speaker. This is the Tronsmart Mirtune S100. Taking a look at some of the specs, this has 50 watts of power, a waterproof IPX7 rating, up to 20 hours of battery life, and a built-in power bank. Taking a look inside the box, you have your user manual, your warranty card. When you register the speaker, it gives you an additional six months of warranty, so I definitely recommend doing that your USB-A to USB-C charging cable, and last but not least, you have the actual speaker itself. So taking a look at the speaker itself, this definitely feels like a very well-made speaker. It's not very heavy, but it does have a good heft to it. It's all made of plastic, but it is a very thick plastic. And then on the front and back, you have this mesh material. Coming to the top, this is one of my favorite features of this speaker. Usually a lot of speakers have a handle that sticks out on top like that. And it's just extra bulk or if not like JBL they had those lanyards that clip in at the side but this is just so much better it makes a lot more sense so when you're not using the speaker it just folds away just like that but when you want to pick it up you just grab this tug on it lightly it locks into place and now you have a very convenient handle built into the speaker then once you put it down I got to do it just push that in and now it completely folds away inside the speaker Definitely the best approach to a speaker handle I've seen so far and hopefully other companies do something similar as this definitely is a lot better than anything else currently out there. So taking a look at the buttons up top, you have your power button, Bluetooth button, sound pulse button, which is basically their own sound processing, which gives you better bass and other enhancements as well. And over here you have your track forward, track back and volume up and down. And then in the middle you have your play and pause. Right here you have your power percentage indicator and this has five different lights so you can see your battery level in 20% increments. Coming around back behind this rubber flap you have a USB-C port, a USB-A port, an auxiliary port and an SD card slot so lots of ways you can put music into the speaker which is definitely good to see as a lot of the speakers are starting to get rid of the ports and only using Bluetooth. I guess it's to save money but I do appreciate having those extra ports on there. This is an IPX7 waterproof speaker, which means you can put it in one meter of water for up to 30 minutes. So this is gonna be great to use outdoors, pool party, in the rain, doesn't really matter. You can use it in pretty much any situation. You don't have to worry about water damaging the speaker. When it comes to sound, this has a 2.1 sound system. Right here in the middle, you have a 30 watt racetrack subwoofer. On the sides here, you have two tweeters that get 10 watts each. So all total, you have 50 watts. And then coming to the side, you also have two good size passive radiators. And as you can see, there is LEDs on the sides as well. According to the specs, this can play from 50 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So this should be able to put out a good amount of bass. Another thing I like about this speaker is it does have a built-in microphone. That's one of the things I do like about Tronsmart. When it comes to bigger brands like JBL, it seems to be that the trend is kind of cutting corners. They're keeping the price the same, but they're doing so by removing ports, getting rid of features, and lately they seem to be getting rid of microphones in a lot of speakers as well. But like I said, this one does have a microphone built into it. Not having a microphone may not seem like a big deal as a lot of us don't use it, but the moment when someone calls and you can't answer it from the speaker, that's when it becomes pretty inconvenient. When it comes to battery life, this has up to 20 hours of playtime, which is pretty good for a speaker of this size. And as I said earlier, it does have a built-in power bank function. And back here, you do have both a USB-C and USB-A port that you can use. So if you get low battery while you're listening to music, you can just plug your phone directly into the speaker and charge it up that way. I almost forgot to mention, besides the SD card, you can also connect a USB flash drive and use that to play music directly on the speaker instead of having to connect to a Bluetooth device. So I have not heard this speaker yet, but if you are not familiar with the brand Tronsmart, they make pretty affordable speakers. But what I like about them is their speakers do not sound like junk. Usually you get an affordable speaker and you also get a very affordable sounding sound. But these speakers have been very impressive. I think this is probably my fourth or fifth speaker that I have from this brand. I don't just buy from this company. Honestly, I just buy speakers. Some people collect shoes. I pretty much collect speakers. And at this point, I probably have 40 or 50 Bluetooth speakers. I just here something new came out i end up getting it hopefully it sounds as good if not it goes right back to amazon or wherever i got it from but in my experience i have not had to return speakers from this company 
A few weeks ago, I reviewed this speaker, which is also from their Mirtune line. For the size, definitely a very good sounding speaker, but this has a lot more power and as you can see, is also much louder. So definitely looking forward to hearing this one and hopefully it lives up to their previous reputation. All right, so let's go ahead and get this connected to my phone. I'll show you what it sounds like and I'll also be hearing it a lot more off screen as well. And I'll give you my impressions after that. Here on the side, it also has LEDs and it has three different modes. So as the music is playing, I'll also cycle through these so you can see what they look like as well. All right, so here's the speaker at 80%. I'll also be switching between sound posts on and off as well. So again, here it is, 80%. <laughs> Real quick, I want to say I did not expect this kind of volume from this speaker. It looks like a JBL flip or JBL charge. This is definitely way louder and fuller sounding compared to those speakers. I know I've only heard it for a few seconds so far, but as far as volume goes, this is definitely very impressive so far. <laughs> So this is definitely my new favorite speaker of this size. I did not think it was going to sound this good, especially since it's only 50 watts, but this thing gets loud and it also has a very full sound as well. Bass is also more than I expected. And then when you turn on that sound pulse, it gets even deeper. Depending on what you're listening to, sound pulse is sometimes not needed. I prefer this with rap and more bass heavy music. And then I like a more flat profile when I'm listening to other music. But yeah, I was listening to this off camera with a bunch of different music. I can't show those on YouTube for copyright reasons. But again, definitely a very, very good sounding speaker. It did not let me down. If you have this one and like the sound of this one, you're definitely going to like this one even more. This is like if you took four or five of these and combined it into a bigger speaker. As you saw earlier, the passive radiators really start moving with more bass heavy music. And even at the fullest volume, I did not hear any distortion. So all in all, definitely a very good speaker. If you're considering a JBL flip or a JBL charge, just completely forget those and get this one instead. It's cheaper, has more power, and like I said, it's just a very good sounding speaker. So just like the small speaker, this also has app connectivity. And on here you have your battery percentage, your volume, your basic media controls, and then you also have a few different equalizers. As I said earlier, on the speaker, you can choose between default and sound pulse. But here in the app, you also have deep bass, classical, and rock mode. And then if you want to set a custom sound, you can also tune that in here with a custom equalizer as well. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with the default and sound pulse, so I probably won't mess with that. And then coming over to the last tab, here you can select from your different input sources. So this has Bluetooth, auxiliary, micro SD card, and then your USB flash drive. This does have TWS wireless mode as well. So if you have two of these, you can connect them together to get a true wireless sound and get better dispersion. Having one of these is more than good enough, but having two of these is definitely gonna be enough sound to fill a medium to large size room with a good amount of volume. And then as I said earlier, you have three different LED modes. So you have fashion party, deep breath, which kind of fades in and out. And then you have carousel, which kind of spins around with random colors. I like the fashion party better, but I do wish there was a mode that lets you select from single colors. The rainbow is not too bad, but personally, I would have liked to just leave it on blue or red or something like that. So hopefully they come out with an update to let you do that in the future. Or if you want, you can also turn off the LEDs as well. So not too much going on in the app, but overall, very simple and easy to use. Overall, this is definitely a solid speaker. It sounds good. It has a good amount of bass and volume. And best of all, it's also very affordable as well. So all in all, if you happen to be shopping for a mid-sized Bluetooth speaker, I would highly recommend this one here, which again is the Transmart Mirtune S100. 
All right, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment and let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.